Hi everyone, this is going to be a really quick tutorial. I've made shoots about uh, making button navigation in the past, but this one's going to be a super quick and super easy version. So to begin with, create new, choose Action Script 3, create. We need to make a couple of buttons. If you haven't watched the button tutorial, probably worth watching. Uh, but we're just going to make a single object, get some text, stick it in the middle, and we're going to write next. And we're going to change that to white. Stick that in the middle of my button. Should we even change that back to lowercase? Why not? Let's press F6 one time. And we're going to call this one back. Look how it'll be. Alright, so we got next and back. And you probably guessed it. We're going to make one button take you to frame two. And this one take you back to frame one. It's crazy. Highlight next. Right click, convert to symbol. I'm going to call it next BTN. And make sure the all important change this to button, not movie clip. Press OK. Do the same on this one over here. Right click, convert to symbol, back, BTN. It's probably already set as button for you. Press OK. All right, so now you got two buttons, one under the frame. Now for the nitty gritty, we're going to type in some code. So um, to make it neat, we would generally make a new layer like this. Press F6 once as well. So we put the code on the top layer and the, you know, the content on the bottom but it will work if you don't do that we're just trying to be neat now for the code to be able to be recognized we need to give these buttons instance names so uh this one here when we w when we name them before that is uh, if you have a look at the library they're called back btn next btn but these do not actually mean anything in terms of button functionality so if you click on the object and go to properties you can give it an instance name yeah same thing so we're going to write next btn one and this one back here we're gonna do the same thing under instance name back btn one so now we have something that our code will be able to recognize click f9 and now we put in our code so next btn one which is what we called this one before if you want to make sure you don't make a typo you can also copy it straight out of the linkage section click back on the frame and paste it in next btn one dot add event list and you'll notice it changes color if it doesn't change color for you after you press that bracket you've probably got a typo in there a lot of people forget to put in like an e or something like that then we're going to write mouse event dot click with all caps so what we're telling animate right now is listen for the mouse click or the mouse event which is click for this button and then we're going to put in what's called a handler uh, which is the unique identifier for this event that's listening. So we're going to call it click next. Doesn't really matter what you call it, it will work. The next thing we're about to type, which is our function. And next click is what we want this function to link to. So this function is what's going to happen when this event listens. And here's the click. What's it going to do? It's going to be a mouse event. You just got to write this last little bit here, void. And then what we need is a bracket and if you press enter it'll close it for you as well what we have here is the function linking to the event listener and then what's in between these brackets is what happens so what we want it to do is go to and stop at frame number two you'll notice this has put itself in as well don't stress about typing it'll do it itself so that is all done that will make this button go to this frame but there's one thing that we need to remember that is the stop command because if we don't write stop it will just spam its way through and we'll never be able to click our button but stop in there like that now to test it control enter next ta-da but we can't go back because we haven't made the code for that one this one will be heaps quicker because all we're going to do is highlight this copy it click on frame two down here click back in the code window press control v um, and we're going to change it. So instead of it being next BTN1, it's going to be back BTN1. Instead of this saying click next, it's going to say click back. And this one will say click back as well. Um, and instead of frame two, it's going to frame one. Now if we press control enter, next, back. That's it. So it can go to any frame we like. Um, we could change this to frame 20. Uh, we just don't have anything on frame 20. Um, but you can make it skip. It doesn't have to go one frame. You can go as far as you like. And that is simple button navigation. You've got your name of your button, 
you've got your event listener. In our case, we want click. We've got the unique identifier here. We've got the function linked to that unique identifier. We've got our mouse event and void. And then we've got what actually happens when we click, which is it goes to and stop. That's simple buttons for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Good luck making your buttons.